Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Al McMorty from BigAl.com. We're uh, going to cover a tough game, Missouri-South Carolina in college football week five, but uh, that's okay. He took a tough one last week and gave us a winner with uh, Georgia Tech and Virginia Tech. Uh, Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. Thanks a lot, Peter. Good to be here. All right. Interested to see what your take on this game is because uh, for me, as of right now, as I sit here, it's a complete pass, tough game for me to, uh, to analyze in terms of line value. Uh, but uh, before we get to that, give a plug for uh, BigAl.com. Uh, tell everyone how football season's going for you over there. Well, I wish we could go back to 2013, to be honest with you. you know, <laughs> I tell you, the NFL's been tough for me. You know, we were number we were number one in the NFL two years ago. Last year, 83 and 57, and this year we've gotten off to a four and 11 start. So it's, I tell you, it's been tough out there for me in the NFL, but it's a long season. I'm sure we'll get better. You know, one of my clients was complaining uh, the other day, and I said, well, you know, if you add last year, we're 87 and 68. Exactly. Less. And what I take away from our conversation right now is honesty. Look at that. You know what I mean? Your record 4 and 11, that's a real record. But your record last year, 83 and 57, that's a real record too. Combine them up, 87 and 68, whatever it is. Yeah, honesty is a, is, is an essential component of being a professional handicapper, and you obviously have it out. So uh, in your honest opinion, do you expect to uh, do better going forward? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. I mean, <laughs> You know, I've been in the business since 1992, and, you know, it's just one of those short-term things. It's yeah, for sure. Well, you know, I love to hear your analysis on these lines uh, because you always have angles that, uh, you know, the common man can't just get from looking at the ESPN uh, team pages. Uh, you have technical analysis that sheds a lot of light on things, and... This is a tough one here, Al. You might tell, I'm looking at this. I'm thinking this has got to be a coin flip game, but we'll see what side you like here. South Carolina is a five-and-a-half or six-point favorite. The... Uh, total the market is very uncertain about this total I'm seeing 61 and a half 62 and 62 and a half all kind of widely available numbers you know Missouri's coming off the, the loss to Indiana South Carolina just one and three against the spread should be a pretty high scoring game based on just you know at first glance but it is a high total uh, so it's always a little bit risky and especially when an, an SEC matchup like this sometimes there's unexpected results do you really want to take an over it at 62 I don't know how do you analyze this Al what do you like here Hot. You know, I love the Missouri Tigers in this ball game. You know, you, you mentioned they were upset last week as a 14-point favorite at home to Indiana. But it was really a critical pass interference penalty on that final drive that was the death nail for, you know, the Tigers. And they, they piled up 498 yards of offense. So that's the, that's the good news for Missouri. More good news is they're going to get senior defensive end Marcus Golden back uh, this week. He was out for the Indiana game. And he had a hamstring injury, so I think that's going to help them as well. And then the Tigers fall into several of my best bounce back uh, systems, Peter. You know, systems that have records of 54 and 6, 118 and 53, and 62 and 38 against the spread. And our 62 and 38 ATS system that plays on road underdogs off upset losses to non conference foes as double digit favorites. And then if our road dog is getting less than 10 points, as, you know, Missouri is here, then our 62 and 38 stat goes all the way to 36 and 11 against a spread. So I really like Missouri to bounce back. The other thing to note is that Missouri only lost two games the entire season last year, one of which was at home to South Carolina. And teams playing with revenge from a loss the previous season are a terrific 152 and 106 in conference games if they had a win percentage the previous season of 620 or better. So I really think Missouri is in a perfect spot here, playing with revenge and coming off that huge upset loss to the Indiana Hoosiers. I'm going to grab all the points I can. All right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. And that is how I would lean, I guess, uh, because Missouri has been looked very potent uh, for most of this year. And the question is just what happened in the last loss? Was that an anomaly or was that, uh, you know, indicative of something uh, wrong with Missouri going forward? If it's just an anomaly, you got to think Missouri getting six here is, is the way to go. All right, Al McMorty, there you go. Great analysis. Missouri plus six it is. Thanks so much. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.